Okay, hello everybody and welcome to Osaka Prefecture and today we are in Nose. And uh, as you can see up here it says Nihonichi no Satoyama Myoken no Mori. So we are in Japan's number one mountain village. And uh, we are right here on the map. And so we're going to be going around the area. There's a shrine over here and we're going to maybe take a chairlift and see this uh, area here in the middle. So we're just going to walk around and explore this area. It's a really beautiful day. We're high up in the mountains in Osaka Prefecture's northernmost corner. So uh, it's very mountainous here and uh, much cooler. So uh, we're going to look around and see what the area has. So let's go. Okay, so now we are at the observation deck here, and as you can see down below, this is the uh, the chairlift right here. And we're going to take that down the mountain in just a little bit. But before we go, I want to give you this view. And uh, just a really, really beautiful view here of the surrounding area. This mountain that you see straight ahead, this is Mount Oroko over in uh, Kobe and Hyogo Prefecture. But uh, just a very beautiful mountain view here. So when you think of Osaka Prefecture, maybe just think about Osaka City, the big city. But there's tons of nature here in Osaka Prefecture and uh, this is one of the examples here. Lots of uh, hiking trails and temples and uh, a lot of things for nature lovers to do here in this area. So anyway, we're going to get on that uh, chairlift and go down and uh, explore the area a little bit more. So see you soon. Okay, here we go. So we are on the chairlift. So let's enjoy this very slow and peaceful ride down the mountain. This beautiful day. So again, this is a golden week and uh, a lot of people have at least five days off, five days off in a row. Some people have longer and uh, there you can see some of the mountains in the distance. So I just checked, uh, let's see, this mountain is 660 meters high. And in feet, that would be 2,165 feet high. So it's a beautiful day. The temperature's in the low 60s up here. It's about a five degree difference in Fahrenheit uh, compared to uh, down in the city. I think it's about 67 in Fahrenheit down in the city, 62 up here. Not really sure in Celsius. So these flowers down below are called nanohana in Japanese, in English, uh, rape flower, which is not a very beautiful name, but that is the name in English. You can see this chair left is uh, pretty full. So Osaka Prefecture is in a state of emergency during this Golden Week holiday. So I think everybody's trying to find a nice place to go that's not too crowded, that's outdoors. And out of this uh, five day holiday, I think three out of the five days it's supposed to rain. So uh, today and tomorrow are going to be the nice days that people really want to get out.
Okay, so I think you can kind of get the idea. There's not a lot of uh, views here of the mountains in the area. So I'm going to stop filming and uh, pick it up again when we get down to the bottom. So I'll see you soon. Okay, so we just came down the, uh, the chairlift and uh, there's an observation deck and here is the view. You can see a really beautiful view of the mountains on this clear blue sky. It's really, really beautiful. And uh, we've noticed a lot of the flowers are blooming later up here than down in the city. So for example, right over there is uh, wisteria. Could you know, Hana, in Japanese, the wisteria are still uh, in bloom up here. So you can hear a lot of noise here. There's a hoop and they're trying to throw something there between it. There are a lot of people over here. And then, uh, yeah, yeah, let's go check out the, uh, the wisteria. Yeah, and there was also a cherry blossom right here. Yeah, it's definitely past the peak, but uh, to still see cherry blossoms here in May in Osaka Prefecture, it's very rare. Of course, the petals on the ground. So yeah, let's check out the uh, wisteria, the Huji no Hana. And the smell, mm. it's really strong. Yeah. So these uh, Huji no Hana are definitely past the peak right now down in uh, Osaka City. Wow, the light's really good right there. Mm. Really nice. And again, this is called a Huji Dana, this kind of support with the. Uh, with the wisteria, and you can see the uh, kind of the branches, the roots coming up the mount, uh, the Hujidana. So there it is. So just to look around, you can see a lot of uh, children out playing, lots of things to do. There's a uh, looks like a cafe or something. So we're just gonna walk around and check this place out. Of course, a lot of places are closed because of the state of uh, emergency. There's a foot bath that's closed, the barbecue terrace is closed, but uh, we're gonna make the best of it. So anyway, we'll see you soon. See ya. Okay, so we came up a little slope and now we are here. <clears throat> and it's kind of a, uh, a fake mm -hmm. railway station. <laughs> and it's for the North Star. So let's walk up and uh, see the view. And actually, haven't been up here yet. So let's see it together for the first time. And actually, you can see this. Uh, it just kind of ends here. So it's kind of a artistic. I don't know, artistic, but yeah. Anyway, look at this view. Wow. Really, really beautiful. This blue sky really really beautiful and uh, you can see there's kind of a, a building up there at the top that is an observation deck or something <laughs> okay we may go there later I don't know but anyway we uh, we actually had lunch we had a little picnic. Yeah. 
Right over here. So you can see they've got some tables set up. And this is where we sat, right here at this table. And this is the view that we had. So really, really beautiful area. Blue sky, green forest, and mountains. Oh, there's some azaleas here. And of course, social distancing. So uh, it's definitely plenty of space here to uh, enjoy nature. So anyway, this is where we came and had lunch today. So anyway, let's move on. I'll see you later. Okay, so uh, we're continuing our walk around the area. And actually right now we are on a nature trail called the Edo Higan Nature Trail. And Edo Higan is a type of cherry blossom tree. So I think all these trees that you see here, the majority of them are the uh, cherry blossom, the Edo Higan variety. And uh, here down below, you can see they have a barbecue area, have lots of spots for groups to get together and have a barbecue. And it looks super, super nice. But of course we are in a state of emergency and so almost all of the facilities are closed. But uh, you can just see, it's just really, really beautiful nature here. Probably not the image that people have of Osaka Prefecture. In fact, Osaka Prefecture is the least forested prefecture out of all 47 prefectures in Japan. Uh, I think only 30% is forest, I believe. So, uh, anyway, yeah. So, it's kind of hard to find areas like this, but they do exist. You just gotta, you gotta search them out. And once you find them, they're really, really nice to enjoy. So, anyway, we're gonna continue walking along this nature trail, and uh, we'll see you later. Bye. Okay, so we're back in the main plaza area where we were before and here's just uh, another view of uh, the mountains, the surrounding area. And as you can see, it's just really, really beautiful. Really bright green colors in the forest with the blue sky, white clouds. So actually there's a list of the 100 views of nature in the Kansai area and this is this is on the list. So one of the top 100 beautiful places to enjoy beautiful views of nature here in the Kansai area. And so anyway, this is just uh, one more view from this area. We're going to jump on those uh, the chairlift Head back up to the top of the mountain. I think there are some other places to see around that area as well. So we'll see you later. Bye. Okay, so we took the uh, the chairlift back up to the top of the mountain. And as you can see, there is a, uh, looks like a shrine, but actually this is a temple. And it's called Myokanzan, which is also the, the name of this mountain. And... Uh, it's a special type of Buddhism called Nichiren, Nichiren Shu. Yeah, so here's the sign for uh, the temple. And uh, one of the things, as I said, we are in a state of emergency right now. And the uh, governors of the prefectures have requested that the people stay inside the prefecture, do not cross the prefectural boundary. And so, <laughs> coincidentally, we saw this right here. And this is the border between Osaka Prefecture and Hyogo Prefecture. So we have to stay on the right-hand side to, to stay safe. Of course, it's a joke. They're not enforcing it, it's just a request. And there's no punishment or anything. But yeah, we are on the border with Hyogo Prefecture right here, so. Anyway, you can see different things here. So here we go. So anyway, we're gonna walk into the shrine, or temple, sorry, and we're gonna look around and we'll film more later. So see you soon. Okay, so we came up the uh, stairs and uh, 
we are now about to see it's called the Seide which I believe was translated into gathering place, maybe, something like that. Anyway, you can see it's a very new, modern building made of glass. And it's actually in the shape of a star. So maybe this is a very important symbol for uh, this type of Buddhism. Again, Nichiren Shu is the, the name. It's a really nice building, and we could actually see it from that place where we had lunch. Mm -hmm. So really interesting architecture. And so we are here on an observation deck, and we can see really, really far in the distance, actually just right over there. Mm. I don't know what that is. But uh, yeah, get a really good view of the mountains here. And that, in the center of the screen, is probably Mount Roko, mm -hmm. maybe, over in uh, Kobe. So again, as you saw earlier, we are on the border between Osaka Prefecture and Hyogo Prefecture. And Maybe this is in the direction of Hyogo Prefecture. Maybe Kawanishi City, maybe. So yeah, just a really beautiful view from up here. Beautiful day, beautiful weather. We can see pretty far in the distance and get views of other mountains in the area. So really nice. And then here's the, uh, the Seide, the, the gathering gathering area and I don't think we can go in so now we're going to go through the uh, the temple gate mm -hmm. and then we'll go visit the uh, the main hall yeah it's a really nice view right over there another view in the distance and then here you can see you can see the uh, kind of looks like autumn leaves, a Japanese maple tree. Of course, it's uh, early May, so maybe, yeah, with the light. It's a early May, so uh, they probably stay this color year round. So here we are at the main gate. And again, Nichiren Shu. Nose Myokenzan is the name of this temple and we're about to cross over into the temple and as you can see we are also crossing the prefectural boundary from Hyogo prefecture into Osaka prefecture so we're probably crossing between the two prefectures every step probably <laughs> we're exactly on the border so now we are on the temple grounds and you can see there are a lot of statues there's the bell tower. And then this would be the main hall. Lots of beautiful flowers here as well. What is this? Shakunage in Japanese. Shakunage. Kind of like a type of azalea. And so here it is, this star maybe is the symbol of, of this temple or the religion. So the eight-pointed uh, eight star. Maybe. So here it is, this is a, again, a Myo Kenzan, no se, Myo Kenzan. And so actually it mixes a lot of elements of both Shinto and Buddhism. So it's really mixed together. A lot of things that you would also see at a shrine.
and the smell of incense is super strong. You can see it just wafing out right there. I wish I could transport the smell through the screen. <laughs> you can hear the bells. Of course, they've got the, uh, the Emma people writing their wishes in the uh, Senba Zuru. Thousand paper cranes for good health. And then pretty nice view here. And again, just beautiful weather today. So you can see that star is everywhere, that symbol. Okay, we're going to walk down through here. Of course, another view here. Super nice. The sun is really coming out almost like a patchwork I saw that word earlier a patchwork maybe the farms mm -hmm. the farming along the mountains here and you can see how the temple is kind of supported underneath of course uh, Japan has a lot of earthquakes there was an earthquake uh, up in northern Japan just a few days ago. Mm -hmm. I think it was a 6.7. So here you can see a uh, post office. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, post offices even way up here in the mountains at this temple. And then I believe this is the end. And then here, this is uh, the Osaka Prefectural uh, hiking course that goes all along, all along the perimeter of the prefecture. So this would probably be the very farther, uh, the, the northernmost point. We're right here. But uh, this would be the very far north part of Osaka Prefecture. And uh, if you watch my videos at uh, Konosan or Kunimi Yama, Mount Kunimi, um, this trail goes right through there. So all the way from the north of Osaka Prefecture down to the south. Yeah, so this is the border with uh, Kyoto Prefecture. Yeah, and this is Hyogo Prefecture. So we're really up here in the extreme northern part. This is the northernmost town in Osaka Prefecture, which it's actually just a village. And then here, looks like maybe cherry blossoms or... Mm. We're not really sure. Not sure, but really beautiful mm. in the contrast with the pink and the, the green. So, yeah. Nice. So there it is, just a quick look around. And uh, if you're planning on coming here, uh, there are no trains. The closest train would be over in Kawanishi City in uh, Hyogo Prefecture. And then maybe they have buses or some way to get here from there. And uh, th uh, there's a cable car that gets here as well. So anyway, the best way to come here definitely is by car. And then uh, we parked, as you can see right over here, there's a sign for the parking lot. The parking was 500 yen. And they closed the parking at 4.30 today. That may be because of the, uh, the state of emergency. But anyway, if you stay over past 4.30, you have to pay uh, uh, each money in 10,000 yen, about $100 uh, of a penalty for staying over the time. So anyway, please be careful about that if you use the parking here at the temple. So anyway, just a quick look around and uh, we'll probably finish the video somewhere else very soon. So see you later.
Okay, so uh, we're running out of time for today. We gotta get the car out of the parking lot by 4.30. It's getting close to four o'clock. So uh, as I said, there's a uh, about a $100 penalty. <laughs> we don't wanna take a risk paying uh, 10,000 yen. So anyway, we're gonna finish the video here. Okay, so do you have anything to say? It was a very beautiful day today. Mm. It's good for hiking. Yeah. Yeah. And it was, yeah. This place, our first time to come here. First time, yeah. yeah it was a really great place. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Japanese? <laughs> Yeah, so uh, we had a really beautiful weather today, mm -hmm. got to see some beautiful nature, and it really doesn't feel like we're in Osaka Prefecture, and technically we are kind of on the border, but uh, anyway, yeah, we had a really good day. And uh, I think it, it felt pretty safe here, even though we're in a state of emergency. We could social distance mm. and uh, be outside, of course. Mm. So, uh, no anyway. contact with anybody. Else. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching the video today. If you liked the video, click like below, leave a comment, and uh, subscribe. <laughs> we're making all kinds of videos all over Osaka and uh, the Kansai area. and. Uh, Hopefully we can continue to make more videos in the future. So if there's something you want to see or you want to see a video of, let me know. I'd be happy to make a video for you. So also please click the bell for notifications so you, you can know when the next video comes out. So again, thank you so much for watching the video and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.